everybody, and welcome to episode 8 of the Pal World series. And in this episode, I apparently need a cooler. Did I get the level up I need for the sphere workbench? Yes, I think so. Yes, I did. I got two level ups. Let's learn how to craft the megasphere, the sphere workbench, and hmm, we're going to want the mill for sure. Wheat plantation? Yes. And the Nightwing saddle. Finally, we can go airborne. Hooray. Do I have my best bird on right now? Unstable, what's that do? Sanity drops faster? Don't care. It's not exactly what I'm worried about here. How's this new penguin? Mm, about the same as the other one. Too bad. Hmm. Very interesting. I found a tea fant. One of the tea fans has better stats or skills, passives, than my current one. Actually, most of them do. <laughs> Mind foreman. I haven't figured out yet if these passive skills work while they're the selected and currently out pal, or if it's just while they're on the team. I'm not sure. But this one is higher level, so I'll probably be sticking with that for now. Any monkeys worth switching out? One of them's faster and nimble. Well, swift, 30% increase in movement speed, and nimble, 10% increase. Super fast monkey. <laughs> okay, we'll just replace this one with that. Actually, this one's a slacker. Get rid of him too. There. They haven't been collecting any ore. Seems like the Tombats are prioritizing stone. Interesting. Well, cooler, sphere workbench. That is the current objective. Let the Lee's Punk keep prioritizing. Wow, he's almost done. <laughs> Those things go fast. Those pal spheres are very quick to craft. Sphere workbench. Sphere. Right here. I need nails. Yeah, of course I do. Then over here, we'll do a craft of ten. Is any, any pal gonna help me with this, or no? Fine. I'll help the Lee's Punk finish up these last two balls. You've been a good little worker. Now go craft those nails, too. <laughs> I need five of them. Ah, oh, God. Let me move. I know you don't like it when I'm standing in your crafting spot. God forbid. <laughs> you know, let, let him do that. I'm gonna get some more ore. Might as well make the most out of what I have here. What I have is friends who can do work for me. At least most of the time. They sure like to slack off, don't they? I certainly think that they do. So, sadly, I seem to be the only person who's actually going to be getting ore. At least until I have more slots for my pals, and that I can assign so many Tombats that they'll have to do ore. They won't have room for any other work. As far as I know, if you look in the distance, you see those two Tombats lined up there? As far as I know, you can only have three pals at one mining site or logging site. So once I assign a fourth Tombat to the base, then that Tombat will exclusively be collecting ore and transporting items, which should be quite nice, I think. Having something constantly collecting the ore is the endgame objective, and that is why I... why I chose this particular location. It's inconvenient being on top of everything because I have to fast travel back to the base, I can't walk. And if I don't have a parachute, I just fall to my death upon attempting to leave. You know, some minor inconveniences like that. But the great benefit is that it's right next to all this ore. Eventually, we're going to have a nice little mining empire set here. And it's going to be great. Everyone's going to be happy. Another 40 ingots. Hopefully, that will be enough. How is the nail crafting going? Ten. I'll take that for now. Cat? What? I heard a meow. I don't have any cats at my base. Oh, I guess the Tombat counts for something. Now that I have the nails, I should be able to craft the cooler. Cooler. Where? Right here. It's essentially a mini fridge. Interesting. I guess we can put it right next to the campfire. It doesn't hurt. Right there. Yes. 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 Wonderful. Craft away, little amazing friends of mine. Is this too close to the campfire? No, it should be fine. I'd... <laughs> You do have to be careful with campfires because the pals will walk themselves right into them. If you're not careful, they really don't care. Hey, chicken, chicken, you should be inside the ranch. What is wrong with you? Oh, cooler's done. And the other thing was the sphere workbench. Sphere. Sphere. Sphere workbench. Right here. Line up with the rest of them. The assembly line is starting. Here we go. Oh, the least punk is almost done with those nails. That's great. But the, the penguin is right over... You see it in the distance? It's just not gonna come and help? I see how it is. I understand now. You're a slacker. Hmm, maybe I should butcher that one. I do need more ice organs. I need the crap out of ice organs. Least punk. Help him. Don't just stand there. 
Are you some kind of animal? Oh, you want me to help? Nope. I've told you before, I'm supervising. <laughs> That's almost done. There we go. A sphere workbench. Specifically for crafting spheres. That's all it does. Oh, the least punk got straight to work. Wonderful. Ah, if we look here at the bottom, now that I've done this, my next upgrade will allow me to have two bases. Now, this first base is an ore base, and a little bit of everything else. It's the main base. The... The happy little home, the domicile. Now we have to ask ourselves what we're going to do with the second base, and eventually there will also be a third base. I believe it caps out at three, though. My thoughts are that we should only make bases at places like this, with ore veins, or some kind of other material. I think it's a fairly sensible idea. Yes, probably. Now we can deploy another pal. And it should probably be a tombat. Oh, uh, we have this one. Depressed. Hmm... I need more of these. What we could do is... Hmm, tombat or nah. Tombat or nah. Let's see. We have depressos, which are all right. Here, we will replace nothing, actually. Let's just put this tombat in. Whatever. Eventually, we can get comfortable with our resources and make medicine. Over at this workbench, I believe. Colds and sprains for the first kind of medicine... Ulcers and fractures for the second, and then the most expensive one. It takes ingots to craft these, jeez. This one is what cures being weakened and depression. So when they're depressed, that's, well, crappy. I don't have any of the resources required to fix that conundrum, I guess. Let's go ahead and repair. Now that we've got a bunch of spheres and- ooh, actually, hold on. There is one thing I need to do, a long crafting item, the Nightwing Saddle. I need leather and cloth. We can set the cloth up to be crafted here. Let the Thames do that passively. I need to go for a ride. I have got a bit of a quest. Let's see if we can't make our way down here on the deer bars. We can. Because it has a double jump, I can basically cancel any fall damage on the way down. <laughs> nice. Let's go ahead and snack out a little bit. I do have all these berries, after all. Now, I need to find pals who I can inquire about removing their flesh. I need leather. And I guess wool doesn't hurt either. But mostly, I need leather. Now, what kind of pals give leather? Hmm. That is the question, isn't it? I'm gonna have to trance around and try to find out. Ooh, a dungeon. I'll have to mark this on the map. First, let's pick up all these berries. But it's just free food lying around. Reduces the amount that I have to take away from the base. Let's mark this. Right here, with a mean little enemy icon. Adorable. Now, where in the- Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a whole- Human being? Um, sup, bro? What do? Oh, it's the Black Marketeer, okay. <laughs> that, that freaked me out, man. This one creepy looking dude. Look at that smile. Ugh. Fell bat. What is a fell bat? This guy sells pals, but I don't think I need any of these. This thing apparently is great at crafting medicine. A melpaca. Eh, I don't care about any of this. See you later, bud. Wow. Keep looking at me with that creepy smile and I'm gonna catch you, bro. Watch out. Oh, what's over here? Nice little dip down. Looks like we found the sort of autumn looking biome. Jump across here. Let's see, jump. Can I, can my deer? It can, it can go up pretty high. This thing having double jump is pretty neat. Ooh, chest, what do you have? Pal sphere, small pal soul. I can use those to upgrade my current pals. Let's go ahead and charge. This left click, this left click that the Aether deer has is pretty good. This thing, nice and quick. Humans, oh boy. You guys really think you stand a chance? <laughs> That's little one in three. Oh boy. Pretty weak. Oh, I missed. Hey, cut it out with that like Superman slam you're doing. It's adorable, but that's it. Ooh, a lift monk effigy. Really? For me? You shouldn't have. Rush or Rush or I know about these ones. These, this pig thing, can mine while you're on the back of it. And it gives leather. I doth believe. What is this? Is this box? Handgun ammo? <laughs> Just laying around, huh? I see. Quite standard, isn't it? Another chest? Arrows? I got a mega sphere. Alright, I want that boar. Still up here? Yeah. You're gonna be mine, buddy. It's just a matter of seconds. How many seconds? Well, that's up to you. How bad do you want this to hurt before you just start working for me? He basically didn't fight back at all. Looks like he doesn't want it to hurt at all. 
<laughs> he really just sat there and took it. What a champ. Anything at the peak of this rock? Pride rock over here? This map has a lot of pride rocks, doesn't it? Like that one, and the one that I'm on. Very Lion King. What are those? Sparkets. Ooh, I'm probably gonna need those. Eventually, they're gonna generate things for me. Like, well, electricity. So, we're gonna be friends now. You, and you. Damn, he's got a mean look on his face. Angry boy. And two in a row. We're doing wonderful. Let's go ahead and get this pal sphere. I like that they're just laying around on the ground. It's very convenient. And at the peak of this particular rock is... Da -da -da -da, an egg. Large dark egg. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Where do I want to... Ooh, is that a little church? Let's go there. But first, we have to come down this way. Oh my goodness. A parachute. Yeah. <laughs> That was quite the fall, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Answering my own questions. Now, I think the church was up there. So that's our objective. Here, churchy, churchy, church. Lift monk, hmm, I could use one of you again. I still think I need ten. Accidental bar. Good god. <laughs> oh, I accidentally killed it. Damn. I'm very good at accidentally ending things' lives when I'm trying to make friends with them. Another Palosphere, freebie. Howdy, Sparkit. You and I, we're gonna be real close. And by close, I mean you're gonna see me maybe once a day. And all I'm gonna do is tell you to stop slacking off. Like every good boss. Oh, there's another one. Can I just hit it with the power shot on my deer? Yeah, there we go. Oh, almost killed that one. 83%. There we go. You're mine. Anything worth mentioning up around here? Ooh, another little pride rock. Let's check it out. A chest. Ooh, more small pal souls. Free arrows? Mmm, arrows. And at the top of this pride rock is a another egg. Seems to be a pattern here. They like tossing out eggs. What is that? I guess I'll find out in a moment. Here we go. Yeah. Deer, come here. I want to ride you. Yeah. Oh, this is a fast travel point. Glorious. I can't I can't fit in here. <laughs> I can't fit in here. It won't let me move forward. The deer is too thick. So I'll have to do it myself. Chest. More pal spheres. Ooh. Lift monk effigy. Gonna need a couple more before I can upgrade it to statue. <laughs> Where did my deer go? Come here. Stop messing around. Vixie! Vixie. That's what we need. You're what I want. You're everything I need. Catch it, 86%. Was there any more around here? I don't see any. I see ducks. It's not really what I was looking for. I need more of those Vixies. Here, Vixie Vixie. That's a crevice. It looks very similar, though. It's just a little puffball. Basically the Pomeranians of Pound World. I guess I'll take it. Gets me that XP, after all. Don't run from me. It's not worth it. There we go. 89%. Oh, 90%. Yeah, that thing is mine already. Over here. Nice little drop off into nothing. Interesting. Is that another egg? It sure is. You're gonna be mine. Eventually we're gonna have a nice little sit-down gacha party while we crack the eggs open at an incubator. First I have to figure out where to get the ancient technology points, which are a whole different tree here. On the right side all this purple is ancient technology. I need separate points from clearing dungeons and bosses to unlock the things there, like egg incubators, and pal condensers, dire wolf. Interesting. I want you. I think you're rideable. Just gotta make sure not to kill you. Yep, come a little closer. Oh, he just phased through the earth. Um, uh, <laughs> GG's, nerd. Get good. You defy the laws of physics, buddy. <laughs> to do the crime, do the time. Mm, is there really no more of those Vixies around here? I want them. I want a lot of Vixies. Is that? Yes, there's two of them. And rush oars. I'll take all of them. Just gotta slowly work on them one at a time. Oh, that killed it. You have to be careful with these bows. This one shoots three arrows at a time, and if you're not careful, all three of them will hit them in the head and do a lot of damage. Like that, I almost killed that rush ore. Poor little rush ore. Go ahead and catch this one. Oh, we got the other one. 82%, 92, and you're mine. Now where's that Vixie? You can't escape me. I will have you and all of your friends. Stop running. Ooh, there's two more. Catch this one. And this one. Just keep going. Why not? Oh, that killed it. Yikes. Oh, these things give leather too. Cool. 
Oh, this is a crevice. Not the same. Still gonna catch it for the XP, though. Here, little Pomeranian. You're mine. And a boar? This is like my favorite place now. You're mine. I'm gonna mark this little spot. Hey. You stay in that ball. You think you're special? Better than the other boars who did stay in the ball? Silly. I'm gonna mark this right here. Um, which... <laughs> Uh, balls. There we go. That's the icon. Or we'll just do square. That's like grinding spots. I'm, I'm probably going to catch a lot of Vixies here. At least I hope so. Let's go ahead and slip through here. I spy with my little eye. A wonderful green guy. More lift monk effigies. What's up here? Another crevice. Hmm? Not really what I want, but I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> they make such adorable noises. Oh, this one's real confused. Just keeps running back and forth. Another level up? Hooray. Yeah. More friends to add to the camp. The base. Ooh, I see more Vixies. This really is a great spot. Good thing I marked it. You're all gonna produce lots and lots of balls for me. I hear the sound of a shiny. Hmm, what kind of shiny are we looking at? It is a depresso. <laughs> Oop, accidentally killed that Vixie. Too bad. Oh, those things give leather and bones. Dude, Vixies are the number one grinding thing. We're gonna need a lot of those. This is the second, maybe even the third, shiny depresso that we've come across. Let's take out this smaller one that's in the way. Jump across here. I'm gonna catch you, because I can. I want to cap out that ten captures that it wants. That thing is shooting tornadoes at me. Not okay. This big old depresso is popping off. Let's jump across here. Ouch. Damn, this thing's got moves. I've been poisoned. Well, not me, the deer. Alright, just narrowly dodged between those tornadoes. Gosh, a little bit more damage. Oh, that killed it. I don't know why, but that move hit it like three times in a row. Mm. Oh, well, let's just roll it off this mountain here. Right down there. There you go. Like a dog. Burying... <laughs> Is shame. That's me. Damn, this deer is messed up right now. Real low on health. Let's see if we can't find a nearby... Oh, yep, yeah, right there. A nearby fast travel point. Ooh, Tombat. I see. You're gonna be friends with me. Joel Tog? Hmm, I want you. That's too strong. Understood. Let's try just using the bow then. Yeah, that's a little bit better. A lot of the creatures up this way are just... Much tankier than the starter ones. Wait, did that... Hey, get caught. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> I don't want the Aether Deer to be taking any more damage. One more point in the wait. There we go. No more after that. See tansies who don't care about those. Daydreams, whatever. I just picked up a move skill. Interesting. Oh, two Tombats. Must be my birthday. Start with a nice little charge. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. A little bit of teamwork. Oh, don't get hit. Yeah. No, don't, 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 don't charge. Balls. Balls. There we go. Oh, crap. More balls. I missed. Do it again. <laughs> this is harder on the deer. Get rid of the deer. Dodge. Throw ball. There we go. Oh, crap. The other one found us. Ball. Oh, a little higher. It does have an arc when you throw it. And we got one. Hooray. Now let's go ahead and get this thing out. Hop on its back. Unlike Ark, you take damage while on the back of the mountains. Mountains? <laughs> you take damage while on the back of the mounts, if something actually hits you. So you can't just face tank because they're tanky. Alright, that should do. Dismount, put this away. Oh, yikes. There goes my shields. And now we're going to catch this Tombat. 37% chance. We're going to get it. Here's the third ball. Dodge. Come on. Stay in the ball. Yeah. That's what I like to see. Now, where was that fast travel point? Right over this way. This has been a very, very productive night. I made many, many friends. The most important of all being the Vixies. Let's go ahead and head back home. Oh, I appear to have missed a fast travel point or two. Oh, well, it is what it is. Yeah, that was pretty nice. I didn't even check what I needed for the next level up, upgrade, whatever, of the base. Hmm, let's remove this Tombat and put in another one that has more sanity. Seems like a sensible idea. Rush or good miners, I bet. 
go ahead and sort this out. I like to sort this by hitting this upper right button, obviously, and I sort by PAL deck number, and then I go back to normal. So I can still see the new tames over here, and then I can sort them back in with the rest when I'm done. So we got a total of four Vixies. It would be a grand idea to have at least one of them producing things at the base. They produce arrows while in the ranch and PAL spheres with the skill being called Dig Here. So essentially it just digs up random treasure. But this has been episode 8 of the Pal World series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.